Hey everybody, it's Old Bart again, video number two. Um, we're gonna do an elk meatloaf uh, on our Traeger at about 225 for two hours using some cherry pellets. Um, we'll have a glaze on the end uh, with that Traeger Q uh, sauce mixed with some uh, apple juice. This recipe is really, really simple. We're gonna do some mashed potatoes uh, with it, of course, but uh, this recipe is really, really simple. It's on the uh, Traeger app. I've used it before, really tasty, and why reinvent the wheel? But uh, here you're gonna use two pounds of uh, ground elk. You're gonna use a quarter of that bag back there, which is uh, breakfast sausage. Um, again, the glaze is a half a cup of apple juice with, uh, it'll be about a cup of that Traeger Q sauce. Using a full cup of milk, I, it calls for breadcrumbs, which you know usually is just regular breadcrumbs, but uh, here we're gonna use a full cup of panko. I like the texture better. Then we'll use about two tablespoons of salt. And uh, I bumped up the sage a little bit because I like the sage. So in back in that shot glass, we have the salt and about a tablespoon of sage. And then a, a quarter cup uh, of, I use, I like onions. So again, I add a little bit more onions. So it's a little less, but it's about a third a cup actually of uh, chopped onions. So we're gonna put all this together uh, in our big mixing bowl over here. So stay tuned. Uh, but we're going to put it all together, the eggs, the onions, the panko, sage, salt, milk, and the meat. We'll mix it up and get it uh, formed in our loaf pan, so stay tuned. Okay, so we're back at it. Uh, we've got everything mixed up uh, into that uh, uh, elk mixture. Uh, it was two pounds of elk, ground elk, a uh, quarter pound of the elk sausage, and a cup of panko. Uh, we had to add a little bit more of the panko and that's the thing with recipes like this they're always they're not always just perfect so if you if it's not the right consistency that you want you can always add a little bit more of the panko or the bread comes to make this loaf uh type um mixture and that's what will help stiffen it up so the salt the sage all that good stuff and the things that you uh, missed out on you know i had to set the camera down for a minute is uh, i greased up a, a loaf pan there uh, and if you I didn't figure you guys would want to see that. Uh, if you do want to see me grease the pan, you'll have to pay extra for that. It's on the uh, other website. So uh, we've got this mixture here all mixed up. And again, if you can see in this texture, it's still firm. Uh, and it's all fairly mixed well by hand. And so what we're gonna do is we'll place it in uh, our greased up uh, mold there, or our pan, uh, before we place it on. So. All right, so I uh, stuffed, uh, I had to set the phone down because I've got one hand here, but I've stuffed the pan uh, with meat. And if I didn't figure you guys would want to watch that either. And if you want to watch me stuff a, you know, stuff a pan with meat, that's on the other website. So um, I've got it greased up, like I said. And see, it's filled out. We've popped any air bubbles, pushed it down good and firm. One thing I want to tell you here is, um, a little trick that I learned whenever you're doing meatloaf and you've got a pan like this um, is to create yourself an edge, a little divot, a uh, little trough. We'll call it the juice trough. So we'll do a, a, a trough all the way around. Just run your finger all the way around the edge there. And what that does is as this juice comes out, it collects around the edge. And that's what you want. That's what you want. You want to be able to collect it. And so right now, uh, we've got the Traeger uh, Pro 34. We've got it cranked up to about 225. And we're gonna go outside and we're gonna put this on there. Okay, outside here, got the uh, Traeger set at 225. Um, again, with the cherry pellets. Uh, I like the flavor of the cherry, cherry whenever it comes to uh, meatloaf. But we'll load it up and we want the internal temp to hit 160. So in this type of meatloaf, it should take about uh, about two hours. So we're just gonna place it right in the middle. That way it can get all the heat. And then we'll come check it. I'll throw a temp in or a thermometer in it about an hour just to, so I don't have to keep raising and lowering, lowering the uh, lid. But about two hours until that internal temp hits uh, 160. In the meantime, we'll be going and uh, making our mashed potatoes. So. Okay, so we're back inside. Um, got the meatloaf for the elk meatloaf on the, the Traeger. Uh, it's probably been 
about an hour or so so i started uh gonna have a little side of corn kind of just dressed it up a little bit salt and pepper and I, I like to put a little cajun seasoning in there uh then we've got i've got started my glaze right here just kind of heating up to kind of marry that applesauce and or that apple juice and the traeger q barbecue sauce and then right here we've got some uh, uh pot of potatoes we're just going to do some homemade mashed potatoes and uh those are fairly simple, but if someone would like the recipe or a video uh, on just doing mashed potatoes, I can do that too. But basically, we filled, uh, chopped up probably about six good size baked potatoes, russet, the brown ones. And then we put them in the, just a big pot, cover them in water. We'll let it boil for a while, then we'll kind of get them to their fork tender, and then we'll start dressing them up. And I use a hand masher, and uh, that's the way I do it. So sides are on. Still waiting for that internal temp, about 160 on the meatloaf. Okay, so guys, what we got here is we've finished up our corn. We've melted a little butter in there. Um, we've got our glaze that we'll put on towards the end of the uh, meatloaf. We've got it kind of bonded together, which is that barbecue sauce and um, the apple juice. And then here we took the boiling potatoes. We cooked them to where they were fork tender. We drained the water off. We added about three four sticks of butter and about a quarter cup of, uh, I went with heavy cream just to make it a little thinner. And I like to hand smash mine because that turns out to be the consistency that I like. And so we'll salt and pepper them to taste. And then we should about another, uh, probably be about an hour or 30 minutes really for the uh, meatloaf to be done. So we'll go check on it. Should be 160 in the middle and she should be ready to go. So we'll go check on that. All right, everybody, we're outside. Um, the meatloaf uh, has been on the Traeger for, at 225 for about an hour and a half. So we're gonna pour on our glaze, which was a uh, full cup of that uh, Traeger Q barbecue sauce, half cup of apple juice. And I went ahead uh, while I tasted it and it was a little too sweet for me. So I went ahead and added some of my steak seasoning to it just to add uh, a little flare up, just a little spice to it. And so now it uh, tastes good to me. So we'll uh, check on this. So it's coming along nicely. Like I said, internal temp of 160. Um, and it uh, looks pretty good so on top it's starting to get a crust of its own but what we'll do is we'll take this uh, sauce and we'll just top it and like I said it's a glaze so we'll just just like that just over the top it's okay if you get a little extra that never hurt anybody so we're pouring that remember those uh, little uh, edges that we made kind of catching any kind of juice or like this catching it if it spills over that's okay I feel like the Bob Ross of meatloaf glazing right now but we don't make mistakes so just glaze it like that and so we got some left over for whenever we finish it and uh, it tastes really good so I'll probably put some on my mashed potatoes as well but we're gonna keep smoking this for at least another uh, another 30 minutes but uh, I am gonna throw a, uh, a temp in it we'll just oh, so i can feel it now and there's actually a really good crust on it but i'm going to throw a, a probe in it down deep down in the middle try to go in the middle put it right there that way we can check the temp and not have to raise the lid again all right so about another 30 minutes and uh should be done All right, everybody, we're back out here. It took about another hour to get that internal temp uh, to 160 where we want it on this elk meatloaf. And it's really easy with the Traeger to tell with that uh, uh, probe that sticks right to our monitor. Um, also, with that last 30 minutes, I bumped it up to 250 and you see that that Traeger is hitting right there at 250 a little bit. And so you press the button, boom, tells you position one and then it'll hit 163 so that's what we want so we'll actually turn it off we are done and now we will look at our elk meatloaf oh boy that's nice that's what we want to see a nice crust on the top that's that glaze that we put on there and since it's hit that uh 160 mark it's going to be uh insane it's going to be perfectly done on the inside so i'm going to pull it off carry it inside and i'll show you the uh, plating of it boom there you have it everybody 
there's our elk, smoked elk meatloaf. Um, the only thing we got left to do is we'll just drizzle a little bit of this. I sliced it a little thick. That way I can put, put it on a piece of white bread tomorrow and it'll be good, be good eating. So all I'm doing, drizzling that, making it look a little pretty. Plus I'm gonna put it on my plate, get a little bit of that sauce that we made up. A little bit more, one more scoop. So just like that, delicious elk meatloaf. You see that smoke ring? That's why we put it on the smoker, get that ring, that flavor. But very dense, very good. Super juicy, moist, it's not dried out, as you can see. And you can see the river of flow is right there. But we'll put this on a plate, easy peasy. Little mashed potatoes, here, I'll just grab it anyways. Just put that right there, that's a little hot still. But see the juice that's still in there. Serve it just like that, and tomorrow, we can have uh, sandwiches with that, so it'll be delicious. But again, closing out, I appreciate uh, you watching the video. Uh, watching how to do that smoked elk meatloaf on the Traeger took around three hours actually at uh, 225 so it's worth it appreciate y'all like and subscribe let me know if you want to uh, let me know if you got a recipe you want me to try or uh, you know if you've got something you want me to cook thank you guys